Mama, which is better, Los Angeles or uh, SV? We're going to check out this new cafe. It's called Beau Regard, the beautiful view. It's new here, I don't remember it being here. So hopefully that's going to offer us some beautiful views of the ocean. So that's the coffee shop. There are a lot of uh, sea things right by the ocean front over there. Really beautiful view. And honestly, I was just kind of scouting and trying to find a better spot. But it seems like every single one of them is just perfect. And if it's a little bit too cold and windy in here, you can go inside and just be a little bit more comfortable and cozy. So that's the menu. They've got a lot of cool options. Um, and since it's me and my mom this morning, we're gonna go with Beau Regard pour deux personnes. This is a meal for two people. Otherwise, I would have gone with the Moroccan. So this one is 35 dirham. That's uh, about $4. And then this one, 78 dirhams, I would say about $8. We've got a feast, quite literally. Let me show you. So I've got tea for one person. And then we've got a lot of croissant, msimmin, and then hasha, and then we've got bread, water for two, eggs, and then we've got soup, also for two, and then we've got orange juice for two, we've got dates, olives, um, cream cheese, olive oil, honey, butter, and I think this is jam. And then I've got my tea, and then we've got a very, very neat view, all for eight dollars. <laughs> this spot right here is one of my favorite views in the city and it's the most outstanding one and i'm going to try probably in the next few days to get all the way down there i'm going to give you a close look it's really gorgeous and the weather is so beautiful today it's been really cold the past few days but today is just perfect to be out but for right now, I am done here. We had a very tasty breakfast, so that's going to keep us full for the next few hours. But we're gonna go and explore a little bit more. Uh, don't really know what's next, but let's see. We're going to check a water source here called Lella Mira. Ain Lella Mira. It's a water source in this area. This area of the city is called Sidi Bouzid, and uh, we're going to go out there. We just checked with some locals that we happen to know if it's safe to to go and explore. Cause it's just me and my mom, and uh, I've got a camera. I've got my phone and my GoPro here. Just wanted to make sure that it's safe. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've been there before, so I'm really excited to go there and check it out. My mom said that she's. When she was a kid, she would come here often just to swim. So I don't really know what to expect. The view is gorgeous though from here. The water source is uh, right here. I was expecting more water flow 
uh, but it seems like it's not as abandoned as I was expecting. But if you follow a little short trail in here, it's going to take you to a beautiful view of the ocean. It's really gorgeous. You can just stay in there and, and you can kind of watch boats just going by and take some beautiful pictures. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's uh, very common for people to come down here to clean, to even do laundry sometimes. And we just uh, met this guy who was giving his uh, his dog shower. Her name is Blanca. And she she was giving him a hard time, but uh, yeah, it's not a, a crazy water source, but it is a water source, and uh, I would say. The beautiful thing about coming down here is the view of the ocean. It's, it's very spectacular and unique and it's uh, definitely a nice hidden spot to take some beautiful photos if you are interested in photography. With that, that is Lella Mira water source. The area right here is called the Sidi Bouzid. Uh, Sidi Bouzid translates to Saint Bouzid. So that's a saint who was buried right here and uh, you can even go if the uh, mausoleum is open you can go inside and check it out this is what we're gonna try to do if they're not open i'm just going to to show you what it looks like from outside but that's uh, the person that the area was named after it's closed for right now we happen to know the person who is taking care of the place probably will check and see if they're going to be open today but that's the mausoleum for you if you happen to come here there is a gorgeous viewpoint from right here um, you can see a good chunk of the seaport and this is a beautiful spot to either catch the sunrise the sunset and you can even see it right it's midday and it's still so pretty what does it say which translates to smile you are in los angeles mama which is better los angeles or uh, Esfi. Los Angeles, of course. Los Angeles, of course. This is a new road that they are constructing. I remember coming to this coffee shop. It also has a beautiful view, but obviously they built so many other coffee shops up there, like the one we had breakfast in. Uh, but there are a lot of people working here, just getting the, the road squared away. I'm not sure how long it would take for this project to be complete, but it seems like they are way far down the road. I'm going to show you a couple of things going on in here. Sana. Sana. There's a lot of construction going on. Usually we would take some very steep stairs to get to the top right there. But uh, it seems like they're also under construction. They used to be really deep and very steep, so they're fixing them right now. So instead, we will go back the same way we came in and then get up there. But you can see the stairs behind. They are still under construction. They get all the way up there. Uh, right now, we're going to go the same way we came in and just see what, uh, what we can enjoy on the road. And we'll show you some more neat places around here. We just made a quick stop here so that we can buy some spices. My mom is doing her negotiation skills here to get couple of things purchased as cumin uh, uh, lavender uh, lentils rice uh, full yeah too much you look like the uh, garlic looks really really fresh look so red and then Shreha. Then had the snow. And I'm not the snow. hummus. So this is this is the raw hummus before you process it and you make your own hummus. So that's the one. Get be afad the manta or get how will get door. To the sabah kri. He's not based right here. He would just go around the, the area and sell the spices here. But they really smell so good. That's where we were earlier. The view is kind of nicer from here. I'm going to walk a little bit further and I'm gonna show you guys the, the college I went to when I was here. School, that's the college I spent five years of my life in. Some memories were so beautiful, 
some of them were not so beautiful but I'm really thankful for being able to come back here and see it the doors are actually closed if it was still open I could go inside and probably give you a sneak peek but they are closed and then just from the last time I saw it which was three years ago they have added some painters colors blue and white but it's really beautiful and then um, there is the name of the college there with the, with the name of the university as well uh, University of the Qadi Ayyad so so many memories come into mind right now so we would go to class in here and then during recess all we have to do is cross the street here and then we would enjoy all of that beautiful view of the ocean which at the time I did not really appreciate but coming back right now I was like wow we were we had some luxurious viewpoint that we didn't even appreciate. Uh, Sidi Bouzid is the one area where I personally feel the very safe. I can even use my camera gear with no issues, my phone. And uh, the reason is near where the school is and then there is another uh, university up there. There is actually a police station. So they do a bit of patrolling around the area and you always feel safe right here. Um, it's uh, very peaceful up here by the university and uh, especially right now because people are not getting off school and usually it's uh, bustling with uh, uh, students trying to catch uh, transportation and so on it's really quiet in here and there's so many beautiful flowers there are some uh, stray dogs uh, disturbing the peace but other than that it's really pretty مهم هنا هنا تسمى دار السلطان شكو السلطان اللي كان السلطان مولاي هشام مولاي هشام مولاي هشام هو اللي كان هنا دعوة السلطان العلوي سيدي محمد بن الله ولكن هنا كاين جوج حضارات كاين الحضارة العربية الإسلامية وكاين الحضارة البرتغالية المسيحية ولكن هنا أن الموحدين هما اللي أسسوا بلاصة في القرن 12 عاد جاوا البرتغال في القرن 16 لأن البرتغال احتلوا المدينة 33 عام دخلوا سنة 1508 وخرجوا سنة 1541 هذا ايمانويل راه داير ديك التيمثال تاعو هنا خاصك تشوف التيمثال تاعو هنا ديك التيمثال تاعو جايين منقوش بالحجر آه. دايرين التاج والراس والماسك والدرع ودين كرة هنا وكرة هنا خاصك تعني كرة هنا وكرة هنا يعني العالم قسموا على جوج في الوقت طرفوا البرتغيز طرفوا الاسبان ديك الساعة كانوا تتحدوا وكانوا تناسبوا ايمانويل الاول كانت تناسب مع المقال الاسبان من بعد جات الدولة السعدية شكل المدافع على 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 برا على صناعة هولندية خاص تكون مستوردهم الملك السعدي مولاي زيدان اش كاتبين ديك الشجرة في المدفع كاتبين فيها أمارة بعمله عبد الله الأمير المؤمنين مولانا زيدان هذا الملك السعدي هو اللي زوده بالمدافع المظفر بالله ابن الأمير المؤمنين مولانا أحمد بن الأمير المؤمنين مولانا محمد الشيخ هذا راه جدهم أيده الله مم. هما ديال 1003 ديال 1540 ميلاديه وديال الخاتم تاعهم القصر الباهي شكون اللي بناه؟ بن عبد الرحمن بن ناصر العبدي سكون السلطان العلوي اللي كان هنا السلطان مولاي هشام الاب تاعو السلطان العلوي سيدي محمد بن الله امتى تسمى دار السلطان؟ تسمى في 1762 تسمى دار السلطان ولكن هي دار السلطان تسمى دابا حاليا تسمى دار السلطان دار السلطان من بعد جات فرنسا حماه في 1912 هما يفتحوا هذا الباب في 1917 باش داروا مكاتب اهل مدينة ذاك الوقت بقات ولكن وكاين ديك الشجره العظيمه ما عرفتش اه شايفاها انا ديك سميتها آه. فيطو لا كادا فيوكا آه. هي اصل ديالها برازيليا وكانوا جابوا البرتغال عندها 500 وديك الشجر وما تطيب صلاه ولا حشات لا والو تبنى قبل القصر البحر هذا في 1508 والقصر البحر في 1516 ار تشيكين ذا سيتي اوف ارتس هير ان سافي also called Medinat Al-Funun. It's a very beautiful place where um, there is a, a big hall uh, or a town hall type of place where people would come in for events and so on. Uh, but it seems like they also have a museum, a pottery museum. So the plan initially was to go to Dar al sultan and the museum used to be there, but for some reason they moved it to 
to, to the city of arts here it's independent and they have some beautiful pottery so we went in uh, we got our tickets we checked in uh, unfortunately you won't be able to take photos it's banned but uh, there was a lot of history and a lot of new things that we learned but for right now we're just checking the area there's a beautiful view you can see the water all the way from here and then we're gonna take some photos and just enjoy the the beautiful weather today and yeah so tag along as we show you new places around hometown Right now we are checking out this area of the old town where the majority of the ceramics and poetry and some other beautiful pieces of art are being sold. This is definitely a place that you want to check out. We really love coming here. Whenever we have anyone who's visiting from out of town, we would bring them here and they really enjoy it. So the very cool thing about this place is that on the top there is all of the, we call them atelier, tel where pottery is being made and then right here in the bottom is where all of the pottery is being sold so it's really neat just to see that you can see the whole operation right here how they make all of the pottery pieces from scratch and then you just take a few steps down and you will see some beautiful pieces of art I'm gonna show you a little bit around here I hope that you can enjoy it we were just invited in so that we can see how pottery is made this is exactly what I wanted but I was a little bit shy to ask so here we go. Salam. Mm. Salam. Yalla, can we go to the market? Let's see how they do it. How they do the work. This is a tajin. Yes, I'm going to put it in the water. من البراج من البراج من البراج من البراج من البراج من البراج ها هو الغطا What's up guys? I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. This is how I choose to spend my day in Safi, Morocco. Obviously, I grew up there, so I pretty much have seen every single place there is to see and I've done every single thing there is to do in the city, but this is just how I choose to spend my day. Obviously, if you are visiting for the first time, there are so many other places to go to. The Portuguese cathedral, the biggest tagine in the world, the castle, the beach, Walidia Beach, and so many other places. I will have a detailed guide over on my website, trekkingpals.com, top 20 attractions, places to go, things to do where to eat when you are visiting Safi for the first time until then I hope that you guys are having a wonderful time keep on exploring and I will talk to you very soon